let me emphasize quick first come first served so there is one over there Miss, there is one over there and then two oh my three. gosh there is two there and then i'm looking for hands that let's do five okay three four and then yeah very much um, i actually wanted to sure yeah yeah it's, it's a luck um i actually wanted to check on the second presentation did on your sampling did you choose um hiv positive or living with hiv that have disclosed especially when it comes to the intimate partner violence uh, i just want to check the issues around disclosure you are noting down right <laughs> Thank you. My question is to um, Nonto Kozo. Uh, my name is Sunet Pino. I'm from UNICEF. I see that you haven't included economic intimate partner violence, and I think that might have been really interesting if you think it re how it relates to COVID-19 and how earnings might have been taken from these young girls during this economic crisis. So perhaps just your comments and your ideas around that. Thank you. Three, and then it's four, yes. Um, good afternoon, my name is Lumiso Matubela. Um, I'm cognizant of the time, so I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, my question is for just the last two speakers, particularly on the screening part, um, both for um, the mental health, um, given the challenges and barriers around that, with the language, um, and then with the IPV, um, in terms of how do we do the screening without uh, re-traumatizing our beneficiaries. Short and sweet. Thank you. My name is Zentengo. I'm from South Africa. My question is directed to you. Was it? To my mom. Any of the two mothers <laughs> were part of the cases for the police and you have ever been included in the findings? Thank you. And oh. the last hand. Oh, discriminated. In the, yeah, the house. Um, thank you so much. My question goes to the last speaker. Um, you spoke of strengthening um, linkages. My question is, do you have any recommendation how we can strengthen our linkages? Because I've seen a point where a client has been referred to point A, from point A to B, B to C, up to Z, and still <laughs> none of these organizations are helping that client. And so my question is, do you have any recommendation how we can strengthen those linkages? Thank you so much. Over to panelists. Thank you so much for the great questions. In terms of HIV status, so the Hey Baby cohort does have access to um, the National Health Laboratory Services. So we do link self-reported to biomarkers and we're able to identify those who have not disclosed during our self-report interviews. So the disaggregated analysis that I've presented is based on what we've also confirmed through um, review of medical records. So those who are living with HIV are also confirmed through medical records that they are indeed living with HIV. Um, economic partner violence, the WHO scale that we used did not have economic partner violence, and we didn't include it specifically in terms of living together with your partner. We did ask questions if you were living with your partner, if there were economic shocks in the house, um, and those do come up as predictors of IPV. We're still trying to understand how the pathway really looks like, especially when you also have food security in that same model. So we're trying to really tease that out um, as we develop the analysis. Um, how many of them reported to the police? Um, so we, we, we didn't ask this specifically in our questionnaire. We did ask around if they'd like to be referred, if they've told someone, but we didn't actually look at, at, at reporting at the police. I see Alona with a hand. <laughs> For rape. Yeah, so for specifically for rape too, right? So that's for penetrative sex specifically. Um, Yanke, I think the rest are for you. Yeah. Screening, um, how do we ask about screening without re-traumatizing? That is a very difficult one. Um, I think 
it's, it, it, I'm not a clinician, but I like to think it comes with the fact that we need to support the ordeal and the trauma. And the only way we can do that is if we know what happened. Um, so I don't know, maybe others who do the screening can speak better to that, but we do need to know what's going on to support. Yanke. Um, yeah, I think the question was around how to strengthen linkages. Um, I must admit that we are on the research side and not necessarily on the implementation side in our study. Um, so I'm sure other colleagues here will have great ideas. But one thing, for example, that we found in our study through our referral system um, is that um, we have a partner that offers counseling and psychosocial services um, to participants who want it. Um, and we found that the best way to do this is for the organization to actually contact the participant and not it be the other way around. Um, and so we found that identifying them through screening and then having um, the psychosocial support partner contact the participant directly um, seemed to work better in certain, in certain ways. So that's one idea. Maybe to add what Yanka is saying, the learned lesson I think from that team is invest in knowing your resources. You need to invest in knowing your resources. So it took us a very long time to map out what is available. It also took us a very long time to acknowledge and accept what's available is not working. So I think really taking the time to map the linkages, know if they're working, try them again and again, and then decide. Um, so invest in the time of knowing the linkages and what they actually do offer. That was the, the learned lesson from that initiative. Whoop, let's clap hands for them. Thank you so much to the wonderful panelists. What I'm going to do and challenge is the Dr. Nadia, the Angus, the Wat Wat, the Young at Heart. You have seen what we can do, right? We are so powerful and formidable. And we are coming for you. How? Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, we are coming for you. And you know, Dr. Nadia promised us some gifts. Did you receive them? No. So they don't. This is, ah! the ex this is the extra two not minutes. Now. I shouldn't have given not it to now. you. <laughs> yes, you said you're going to give us at the end of your session. We didn't receive anything. I know, right? Yes. Thank you very much. I'll hand over to my co facilitator. Um, thank you very much. I'm also still waiting. I hope we, we get them before we depart. But um, without wasting any time, as we have the last 50 seconds, thank God we made it on time. Um, we need, um, what, my parting word is that we need to continue addressing the needs of adolescent and young people and ensure that we listen. Mm. We listen not to speak to them, but speak with them. Um, so with that said, thank you, thank you, Tatenda, Zikomo, Asande. See you guys on the floor. Well done, Rebecca.